What's up, guys? Um, I've I've always um was looking for a notation um video on YouTube, but I was always stuck with the sites. Um, but I'm just gonna do this. It's pro probably pretty pointless. Um, I don't expect that many people to watch it. But I'm just gonna go over notation. I'm gonna go over all notation. Um, so if you ever run into something, uh, you'll know what it is. So um, I'm just gonna go over all notation. And I'm gonna show algorithms. So first, um, I expect you know your um, your sides, your front, up, um, down, right, and left, and back. So after that, this is this video is also for beginners. I need to say that. But um, so yeah, um, notation. The notation is symbolized by its side and by the first letter. Um, now, it could also be uppercase and lowercase. Um, so uh, there's different um, ways you can turn. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna have the green on my U layer. So this would be my front face. So front would be like this, a clockwise turn. You look at the front and you turn it clockwise. So prime would look like this. It'd be an F prime, It'd be a little prime symbol, and then you turn. You look at the face and you turn it counterclockwise. Like that. And that goes for all faces. I'm going to go over them uh, just because it's a notation uh, um, notation video. So, R, when you look at the R face, you turn clockwise. R, R prime would be counterclockwise. L is um, the opposite of R. L would be this way. You look at the L side, you do clockwise. So, if you know how a clock moves, then it should be pretty easy for you. So, L prime is counterclockwise. U would be looking at the U face and turning it clockwise. U prime counterclockwise. So now D, D would be like this. You look at the downside, you turn it clockwise. D prime counterclockwise. Now B would look like um, uh, a B prime, but you just look at the B face, you turn it clockwise. That's what a B is. B prime from here looks like a B from the front but it's not you always look at the back and you turn it the way it is so that's the basic notation there's along with this would be um, also the, the twos F2 would look like this you turn it twice see as you can tell the cube smith thicker is upside down now so now uh, F2 would make it um, normal so F2 would be um, all the way, and F2 again would be all the way, like that. Um, so 180 degrees, not 360. And that goes for every face. I don't have to go into that. So now we can go into, um, I'd say, a, a slice move. Um, this you mm, won't really have to use, in some, and you won't really run into some of these um, with ever really. Um, not much. Um, the most common one you would run into would be M. See, M would be moving this middle layer. M is for middle, um, uh, for up and down like that. Um, there's also E and S. E would be this, this middle layer right here. And S would be this one right here. The one in between here. This one. So let's go over M. So M would be towards you like this. So M. That's um that's M. <laughs> uh, so you're moving the up face to the um, front face. So M prime would be this. Okay. Um. So that's enough with that, I guess. Not much you can. So an M two would be like this, making the bottom color be the top color. So M two. All right, now for E, E would look like this. Um, so making the left um, your front, E prime would be like this. That would be E prime. E two, making the back your front and your front and your back, and then another E two. All right, so the S, um, I, I feel that's easiest to do that. Put your thumb and your ring finger on the back right bottom and your thumb on the front right bottom 
and you just do it with your um, your pointer finger and that would be an S um, so yeah um, as prime I don't really have anything <laughs> um, so you're just gonna have to go like this um, so yeah so S would be this way uh, I guess you can do it the other way like that um, so yeah you won't really run into S but S2 be like this bottom is your top again um, so yeah, it's like that. Alright, next we'd be um, cube rotation. Um, actually, before we get into cube rotation, along with um, the normal um, rotation, uh, I can get R or an F, there's also lowercase. Now, the lower cases are just moving the same layers, um, but twice. I mean, not twice, but two of the layers at the same time. So uh, let me show you what I mean. A small f, if you see, if you ever seen a small f, this is my front side. You would move the front layer and the middle layer. So you'd move these two layers at the same time, and an f would look like this. That's what an f would look like. Um, so yeah, so f prime would be like this. R would be this one and this one. So an R would look like this. R prime would look like this. L would look, you move this one and the middle layer. So L would look like this. L prime. Small u would be this one and this one. So this is what a small u would look like. Small u prime is like that. Small d would be this one and this one. So at the same time, um, this is what a d would look like same way just two layers and then B you never ever really have to use double B um, but just know that's there you just look at the back side you turn both layers um, that's so much about um, the uh, lowercase so now cube rotation um, cube rotation would just be a rotation of the, just the cube um, there's X Y and Z you will never find a Z I don't think ever um, it's not really um, common at all. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, X would be rotating the cube like this. It'll make your up layer your f, f layer. X prime would be like this. So, um, X prime would be making your front layer your up layer. So now Y would be making your front layer your left layer. I mean your front side your left side. So it would be like this. This would be a Y. So a Y prime would look like this. There we go. Alright, so now a Z would actually look like this. Um, I don't think I've never seen a Z in an algorithm at all. So you probably don't have to ever need to know the Z. But a Z prime would look like that, obviously. So yeah, that's um, notation. Um, I still go over algorithms, but that's pretty much about it. I don't, I don't think I have to go over algorithms. But yeah, that's notation for beginners. Practice notation. You should know your notation, and you should know your color scheme. I'm just gonna put that in there also. Um, just know that green's opposite blue, orange is opposite red, and white is opposite yellow. From all angles of the cube. I'll see ya.